came here a lot as Tennessee's coach. And, uh, I got rude and booed a lot. Um, but I think in a lot of ways, because um, I've always had been such an admirer of Vanderbilt basketball. Remember, there are only two teams I wore the orange jacket for, Kentucky and Vanderbilt. Because those are the two teams that Coach Mears felt like Tennessee had to beat. And more than anything, it was a compliment to Vanderbilt basketball. And I think most of the fans took it that way. Um, and now that I've been at Auburn, um, we haven't won here since 1999. That's a long time. Um, and so I'm proud of our kids for grinding and you know, able, to, able to get the win. Uh, we struggled offensively. Vanderbilt played hard, effectively. Uh, both teams struggled a little offensively. Our defense was really good. We turned them over 19 times. We, we, we did a good job of pressing up on those three balls. And uh, I thought our coaches had an excellent stunt scout. And I think I thought our kids you know, made a lot of winning plays. So it was great to see Malik Dunbar come off the bench and play so well. Samir so Downey had a, a foot injury, wasn't able to practice on Thursday, tried to go Friday, and just wasn't, wasn't very effective. So Malik being able to come off the bench was a big plus. Jared Harper, um, in the open floor, you know, he, he, was, he was the quarterback. He was the captain of that team out there. He got guys really good looks and thought he competed. And uh, uh, Bryce Brown's uh, on-ball defense, as well as Jared's, on Saban Lee, thought that was really important because Saban Lee is a very key key, key player for Vanderbilt. They kind of go as he goes. And Bruce, I'm going to uh, thing. Rick Burns approached 800 wins. What, what, what about that? I knew Rick when he was a young head coach and I was an assistant. And I always admired, I admired him. I admire the way his teams play. I admire the way he fought and competed as a young coach. Um, he was a little bit of a role model. And then the great thing about Coach Barnes is, is, is that he got older, he got better. And that's hard to do. Um, and the last thing is, he is a wonderful Christian man. It's real. Uh, he loves the kids. He loves the family. He, he does it to bring God the glory, not himself. And he's a terrific role model in that regard. So I'm really glad that, that Rick Barnes is in control and in command of the Tennessee basketball program. I worked, worked really hard to try to bring some credibility back to Coach Pierce had done and um, others in the past. And so I'm, I'm happy for Tennessee and for Coach Barnes. I, I'm sorry, I met Rick Bird from Belmont. That you coach <laughs> And you, you coach against Rick. You can use some of that stuff anyways, can't you? Oh, sure. <laughs> um, I was crazy enough at Tennessee to actually put him on the schedule. And I think I beat him a couple times. I got a total of three points. I had 25 points more talent than he did. Um, brilliant coach. Really, really good man. Um, a legend at Belmont. And uh, he represents our profession really well. Um, as a coach, as a teacher, as a father, um, he served the game. He's a guardian of our game. And so uh, 800 wins, uh, that's a lot of wins. Coach? Oh, go ahead. You mentioned your defense, uh, particularly late when Manny got within four. It seemed like there was a Brown had a steal at one point. Somebody else came up with the ball. You, uh, how key was that to help finish this game off today? It was, it was key. Uh, sometimes, so many times young players, they'll be in the gym and they'll be three, two, one, to cut it down. I think a shot needs to win the game. It can be a 50-50 ball. It can be a rebound. It can be taking a charge. It can be on the defensive end as much as anything. And um, I, thought, I thought our effort and energy was really good. I mean, 19 turnovers and, and 10 steals. We, we were flying around out there because our focus was not on any individual offense. Our focus was on winning the game and getting out of here and trying to make some history. I think the other thing that was, was very noticeable was the crowd. Um, it's a good crowd for this early morning game, um, but there might have been a couple thousand Auburn people in here. And I, I, I can tell you that you know, people told me that when Auburn would come to Memorial Gym, they, they'd be 20 people, not 2,000 people. Um, 
I've always been impressed by the SEC in football um, because of how the SEC travels. Um, you all uh, have a, a football game here in Nashville, and there's 20,000 people from Knoxville, we've got 20, 30,000 people. It just means more in the SEC. And I think when we start doing that in basketball, not just Kentucky traveling, but now the other teams. I think it's great. I think Auburn really showed very, very well. I also want to make one other statement while I'm here. Y'all have got yourself a great new football coach in Tim Horton. Um, I'm blessed to have been a Bible study brother of Tim's. Um, he is one of the most accomplished running back coaches in college football. And if you look at the, the running backs he had at Arkansas and, and, and at Auburn, and what he'll do for Coach Mason here, both on the field, in, in practice, um, but as much off the court. He's a, he's a wonderful man. He loves his players. His players will love him. And you're going to see some real impact in Vanderbilt football when Tim Horton is one of your new assistants. Coach, your, your teams at UT and now at Auburn have always shot the ball really well. Do you put a lot of pressure? What is it you're doing? Um, what kind of drills? Or you just put a lot of pressure on them to assimilate the pressure in the games and practices? Well, or I appreciate you saying that we've always shot the ball well. I would say that we've, we typically shot the three ball well, mm -hmm. but not always have shot the ball as well as I would like. Yeah. Um, you know, you got eight, eight and five, great coach, football coach at Iowa said, you got to scratch your itches. And, and so at Auburn, we don't have it. We don't have McDonald's all Americans now. I mean, there's, we don't, we don't get, we don't get five stars, but we get guys that want to get better and, 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 and guys that don't get recruited by a lot of other SEC schools and have a little chip on their shoulder. And then try to get guys to go to their strengths. You know, go to your strengths. And, and i got to give them confidence that if they're open, I want them to shoot the basketball. And then they have a chance to have a better result. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Thank you, guys.